Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz. I am Beauty and Bounty. Um, in today's video, I am just going to be doing like a March and review sort of thing. Um, rather than doing like a favorites and least favorites and things like that, um, that is in here. But I also wanted to do, um, I have some empties, I have some things I'm decluttering, some things I liked, some things I didn't like. Um, I kind of don't merit their own post on the blog or merit their own video, but like, I think worthwhile sharing. So, um, let's get into it. Let's see, the first thing I have is actually a not favorite. <laughs> it's uh, lashes in a box. These are the number 11 lashes. They're actually really cute. I like them a lot because they're not too long and the lashes are crisscrossed, but they are glued onto this box here. I'll find one for right here. With like literally the jaws of life. And they're impossible to get off without damaging the lash. And I swear, I don't wear lashes every day, but I wear lashes once a month. So like I know how to get lashes out of a box. But I swear the glue that they use to hold these on is like the glue they use to like keep credit cards <laughs> to the paper when you first get them. Like, I'm not joking. It's that strong. And that was just a bummer. They're really great value. I think it's like, it's 10 lashes for $25. I'll put it below. Um, and I'm going to keep trying to use them. I'm going to try to, like, use makeup remover to get the glue off. I think that's what I'm going to try to do next. But I was just really bummed because I really wanted to like these. And uh, I have already destroyed, like, two lashes just trying to get them out. Not cool. Next I have an empty. This is Hydration Accelerator by Josh Rosebrook. Um, it is just a hydrating facial mist. You would use it after you use like a toner or something like that or even throughout the day to like freshen up your makeup. Um, it won't really set it but it will do, you know, like kind of take down the powdery look or add a little bit of a glow. Um, I love this. I already have two going. This was a travel size so I think I have two still. <laughs> It's good. Josh Rosebook, if you're not familiar with him, does a lot of um, organic and all-natural skincare. He might even have a like skin tint foundation or two. I have a new favorite highlight this month. It's what I'm wearing today. It looks like this Too Faced Diamond Highlighter. I'll see if I can catch it. I can't. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, anyway, when I first got it, I had a super intense blue purple overspray and I was like mm, you are going to have to go back home to Sephora but then I kind of scrubbed it off a little bit it's beautiful it still does have like a blue purple shift but it's really subtle and it has a really high shine and um, any pictures I take in it or any videos I've shot in it I've just been like really I keep sketching my highlighter and it looks good so there is that Let's move on to an empty. It is Olaplex number three. I think it's like a bond perfecter. Um, I already have another one of these. I've been using this religiously every week for like a year. Um, I dye my hair. I've damaged my hair. We went on a bleaching journey. I'll leave a blog about it down below. Uh, but this is one of my staples because you know, a lot of things will say that they repair your hair, but like they don't really repair your hair. This one does. This one will go in and strengthen the bonds that you've weakened through um, processing your hair as we do. Yeah, so this guy's good. Let's go on to something I didn't like. This is the Butter London Double Decker Mascara. Um, and this is just garbage. I mean... Okay, so when I go through mascaras, I look for, when I go to mascaras, I look for definition and separation and then volume and lengthening in that order. Um, and this one has just like the biggest, gloopiest wand ever. And so like the bristles are really far apart and the formula is really thick. So like when you go to put it on, like you, you just end up with like, four maybe five spider webs just hanging out looking clumpy and it's not it's not cute for me on that same note i have an empty and it is 
uh, my favorite mascara, um, L'Oreal Voluminous Feline Noir. Um, this is great uh, because it defines and separates and builds a little bit of volume. No length, but I don't really care about length. And it's just got a little plastic bristle brush. Um, it's fantastic. It's good times. It's good times. What? Um, let's go to a declutter. This is the Ordinary Organic uh, Rose Hip Seed Oil. And I really liked this, but I went to use it the other day. I've used half of it. Um, but I have a lot of shit. I have a lot of oils. <laughs> And um, I'm not going to smell it. I was going to smell it, but I know what it smells like. It's turned. But I love gross hip seed oil because it has um, a natural form of vitamin A, which is retinol, so it kind of can help speed up cell turnover. It's a great oil for the face, and The Ordinary is very uh, cheap, reasonably priced. I think this was $6. And they're at Sephora now, I think. They're definitely a Beautylish, but I think they're at Sephora now. Um, okay, and let's go to a declutter. I don't even know why I'm mentioning this. But um, it's the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Powder. This was the um, 2016 Holiday Palette, and like, I'm just, I'm ready to move on. I've used up the bronzer, which was my favorite part, and I kind of got to the point where I was just swirling everything together and throwing them on my cheeks. But I went through like reorganizing uh, my makeup and just kind of sifting through it and um, I saw this and I was like, you know, you're two years old. I know if, if I loved him, I would keep him in heartbeat, but I don't really like him. Um, and it's just because the highlight's too gold for my skin tone. I get a racing strike. This setting powder is way too glittery. Uh, the blushes are fine, but the pans are so small that like my favorite brush brush is look like this, kind of like a tulip head. So, you know, they're the side. So you have to mix them together anyway. Anyway, declutter. Oh, on that same night, going through and reorganizing stuff, I stumbled across my Melt Rust Stack. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes. I do have retrograde from the Desert Dust palette on my lids, but uh, the crease and everything else is all the Rust Stack. And like, it's just the perfect stack for me. Like this is great for setting my primer, doing uh, all over the lid. This is antique and it is perfect for a transition color and I like that it's like a warm peachy. The star of the show for me though is rubbish. Just like this great mustardy, dingy, mid-tone, yellow, brown. Like it's just so ugly. And yet so beautiful. Any shade like this I love. I actually bought the Jaclyn Hill palette just because she had a shade like this. And I was like, I, I can get behind that. Um, and then this is Rust. Just a medium red tone brown. I, It's nice. And Rot. Um, the reason why I like this palette is because it really, it's just it's really cohesive. It makes sense. You can like make a look out of it without even thinking about it. Um, the shadows blend really, really well. Um, they, you can like slap them on and have a whole bunch of pigment or you can go gently and kind of like build them up and buff them out which is how I like to do. I like to layer and build the intensity that I want. And so these are, I mean, I think I think this would be great for anyone because they're not hard to work with. Um, let's go on to another empty-ish thing. I have this Clarisonic brush head. This is the Lux brush head. I think it's exclusive to Sephora. No, exclusive to Ulta. Um, and I haven't rebought it because what I did end up buying was an acne brush head. And that was a poor life decision. Because this one is, I mean, you can see how long the bristles are. It's really soft. And kind of when it was time to replace this, I think at the last beauty sale or something like that. I had bought like a whole bunch of brush heads and so this was the last one I had stashed and when it was time to get a new one I was like I'm gonna try something new because this is really gentle and like ah, I'm just in the mood for it. Um, so I got the acne one and I've actually returned it because it's like scrubbing your face with a Brillo pad and like I already don't know how I feel about a Clarisonic 
I love it, but I don't think I should like it. And so, like, I can get behind a brush head like this, but the acne one, I was like, no, there's no way. It's just, it was way too rough. It was beating the crap out of my face in a bad way. Um, another empty is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Mine is, uh, filthy because I decided to throw it out, so I wasn't going to clean it before throwing it out. Um... And I love these. I They're two for like 10 bucks and I do blow through them pretty quickly and I'm not sure if that's because I wash mine. Every two to three times I use it, I'll just really quickly wash afterward because you're already in the bathroom. You already have the water running like might as well. It's not as intensive as washing brushes, but um, yeah, they're good. I already have another replacement going. Let's move on to another. Oh, I think I have all favorites on the way out. That was unintentional. This is the Sol de Janeiro uh, Brazilian Buff Bod. It's this really cool yellow scrub. Um, it scrubs the bejesus out of your body. They say you can use this on your face and body. I would never put this on my face. Like the third or fourth ingredient is pumice. I won't scrub my face with that. They say you can. Not for me. But I do use this on the body and I get like um dermatitis is the best way to put it on the back of my legs and that's probably from wearing leggings 24 7 and sitting in an office chair 12 hours a day um and this has actually really helped it like i've noticed a big difference and and um it smells phenomenal it smells like a fancy tanning oil that you would have uh bought at the salon let's say if you were 16 and stupid and went tanning a lot that's what this smells like not like copper tone tanning oil no it's amazing but it is really strong another reason why i would never put it on my face the scent is so so strong but it's brilliant um and this one this actually got sent to me i've never owned anything um from sol de janeiro but if the bum bum cream Boom Boom Cream smells like this, I'm buying it 100%. Probably on everyone's list this month is Soft Glam. Um, it's beautiful. And I wish I had like a 16 year old sister who's just getting into makeup or and like, cause this would be perfect for them. Um, but it, I like Mulberry, Mulberry is beautiful. I like Orange Soda. I like um, Rose Pink. Like they're just, they're gorgeous and do you really need another neutral palette no probably not but uh I really enjoyed them and I really liked I heard uh press or red where Nervina was talking about the shade choices in this and she was saying how you know they formulated some new ones and used some of their old ones and she purposely put in some of Anastasia's favorites and like the name she dropped when she was mentioning her mom's favorites was orange soda and I was like hmm that's oddly appropriate that I would have the same favorite shade as a mature woman. Hashtag grandma. Uh, I have, let's see here. This is an unfavorite. This is a uh, Miss Spa Clear Blemish Pads. They're come in a little pack like this and they're just little um, pimple stickers. And I would say hard pass. I got them because everyone seems to like the Cos RX ones and Sephora uh, carries a brand too. And so when I saw this at Target for like a couple bucks, I was like, oh, I'll give that a try. And they like, they just do absolutely nothing. First of all, um, I'm not entirely sure that they're the best thing to put on your skin anyway, just to like put a piece of tape on your skin. Obviously you see a theme here. <laughs> it's like, I don't know if this is a good idea. I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, but... I gave it a try and I have uh, like cystic acne, so things that are just under the surface and never really quite come to a head. And this has um, salicylic acid, 0.5%. Um, and it, like it just literally did nothing. It didn't exasperate it at all, it didn't make it any worse, but it also didn't soothe it, but didn't make it heal any quicker, it didn't take down red rest, redness, like nothing, nothing like that. The only thing it did was like, you know those cones? They put on dogs so they don't lick their stitches. I'm a picker. And so I would go to pick it and I would feel that sticker there and be like, oh, I can't get it. So it did do that. <laughs> I, you know, or I could just have some self-control. Um, so yeah, these are a miss for me. 
Um, another favorite is Juice Organics Volumizing Shampoo. They sent this to me and they sent me a conditioner and a hair mask. Um, but when they first reached out and I was like, hey, would you like to try some of our products? I was thinking, mm, no, because I'm really picky with hair care. I don't do silicones and I don't do sulfates. It's pretty easy to find sulfate free hair care, but it's kind of hard to find hair care without silicones. But I went on their website and all of their stuff is silicone free. Actually, all of their stuff is free of paraben, silicones, phthalates, sulfates, propylene glycol, artificial colors, and synthetic fragrances. So that's pretty cool. And I think the whole line is vegan and cruelty free as well. But anyway, once I saw that they were silicone free, I was like, yeah, sure. Um, love to try them. And then when I got them, I was like, oh, volumizing line. Oh, because I would never pick out something volumizing. Like, I don't know, you see me playing with my hair. I, I have so much hair. I have plenty of volume. Like, I don't need it. But I, I thought I'd give it the good college try. So I've used these about four, four-ish times. And I've used the whole, the shampoo and conditioner together. And I kind of tried to cut back the rest of my other routine just so I could see how the shampoo and conditioner perform. And the conditioner's fine. It's thicker than I would expect for a volumizing conditioner. Um, it's fine. I preferred like to use a mask and they did send me a mask too. Um, that was actually pretty interesting. It's, I have it right here. It's a repairing hair mask. And the thing that I think is kind of cool about this is that it has protein, but it's soy protein instead of keratin. But I haven't had a chance to try this yet. But the shampoo, I ended up actually really loving, even though like I would never pick it out for myself. I happened to be trying to find a um, clarifying shampoo um, that's sulfate free and I had picked out a few and had them like sitting in my Sephora's love list uh, for the sale that's coming up next month. Um, but after using this twice, I took, I took them out of my cart. I don't need them. This is perfect. It gets your hair so clean, but not like stripped clean. And it's so lightweight that it doesn't weigh your hair down. Like my hair feels clean. And right now I use the Briogeo, like a scalp charcoal shampoo. And I really like that for what it does to my scalp. Um, but it doesn't really get my hair that clean. And this cleans my hair. So I've kind of been switching between the two of them. So I'll use the scalp one time and then this one another time um, and alternate back and forth. And I've, I've been loving it. It's really good. Last thing is an empty and it is um, just a teeth whitening kit, white with smile. Um, this is one of those whitening kits that you use like the UV light on your mouth to get it white. And part of me hates it because it's so obnoxious. Their marketing is so obnoxious. Like where it's like, it's a $200 kit, but use this code and get it for $30. And it's like, screw you, man. Just like, obviously it's not worth $200. I'm still going to buy it, but obviously it's not worth it. Like make it 50 and say, use this code and get 20% off. That's more reasonable. Anyway, the reason why I like that one is because the peroxide free version is really good and it doesn't hurt. And anything I try from in store has always hurt my teeth. My teeth are really sensitive and it's just not fun, but they have, I've actually found them um, through searching for peroxide free teeth whitening. And I like it. I already have another one. I do it every two to three weeks and they say you get 10 uses out of them, but I think I bought that like nine months ago and I use it twice a month. So, um, that's cool. I appreciate that. Let me see. Did I talk about everything I wanted to talk about? I did. If you liked this video, go ahead and subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.